Hey guys, what's up? It's Zman6776 here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to kick ass at Call of Duty Ghosts. By using these tactics, not only will you be able to destroy your opponents, but you'll also be able to destroy their assholes. Now what qualifies me to be telling you guys about this? Well, let's just look at my stats and find out. I'd like to point your direction over into the time played section of my stats. As you can see, I have one day played. And this game has been out for about a week now, which clearly means that over the last week, one-seventh of my precious time has been spent playing this game. Even though my time could have been spent way more productively in doing things such as hitting my goddamn dog with a frying pan, I'm still here to give you guys this kick-ass tutorial on how to wreck some buttholes. So you're probably asking yourself, how does one kick ass at a mind-boggling, nipple-twisting Call of Duty game that Ghost is? Well the answer is pretty simple, in fact it's two syllables, and that is the chainsaw. I mean look at this thing, not only does it look like it's out of a 1950s Terminator movie, but it also doubles as a big black dildo to penetrate your enemies with. It's like a giant lawnmower and cutting grass except the grass is your enemies' heads. And I mean, look at this. People are getting scared of it. Assisted suicide, I'd certainly hope so. People don't even want to come close to this damn thing. So without further ado, I'm clearly going to have to show you guys how to kick some serious ass with this weapon. So we're going to go ahead and pretend that you're little Timmy over here. And let's be honest, little Timmy kind of looks like a little bitch. And if you want to kick some ass in this game, you have to look like you can kick ass. Now, of course, my personal favorite is the DevGrew Heavy because... To be quite frank, nothing strikes fear into the eyes of your enemies like having bullets around your neck and not in your gun. Now for my helmet, I like to use the DevGrew Specialist because there's just a little part of me that's always wanted to be a confused skier slash dirt biker trying to figure out a way to combine the two sports into one ultimate sex orgy of winter summer sport spectacular. Now that we got one good looking piece of meat, it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of our class setup. Alright, for my first little titbit here, we're going to combine our rapid fire attachment with a nice beautiful two point steady aim. Now this is going to not only allow us to shoot at speeds of freaking Mach 2 here, but also shoot with the accuracy of taking a nice morning soft piss. Now for our next attachment, we're going to be adding a pretty small grenade launcher dildo onto what already looks like a pretty big dildo. We're also going to combine that with recon and yes, danger close because don't hate me, it is really hard to get noob tube kills without danger close. Now you guys are probably just sitting there playing with your damn balls because you don't understand how impressive these noob tube kills are. But let me tell you something, these full 100 yard touchdown throwdown passes are about as hard to get as finding a needle in the damn haystack. And most of the time since we don't get the kill, we have recon on so we can see those little bastards through the wall and finish them off with some fiery mother trucking straight from hell bullets. Now here's all the nuts and bolts for this one beautiful class setup. Now this class setup alone is about 99% responsible on why people are trading in their games back to GameStop. That being said, I think this loadout name fits the shoe quite respectively. So there you have it. This is the gun of the hour, too sweet to be sour. With this equipped, you'll be running down people like Nico Bellic from the fourth installment of Grand Theft Auto. And this asshole right here actually has the audacity to pick up my chainsaw. Actually, I just kind of want everyone to send death threats to him. I mean, you don't pick up my chainsaw. But on a more serious note, I mean, let's be honest. The amount of pizzas I'm delivering right now is just beyond the Richter scale. Speaking of scales, we'd have to create a new scale to determine how much destruction you can actually cause with this gun, and we'd call it like the Grandiloquian scale, and it'd measure the amount of force in Newtons that a penis went into a butthole. And this gun would be off the scale sitting at 10,000 Newtons. Well, I hope you learned something today, and if you didn't, well, shit. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a thumbs down, give me a comment on what type of video you'd like to see next if you want. Anyways, thanks guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.